yesterday. We're gonna be square, we're gonna be even on either side. Because if you if you tip to your left, she's gonna shoot right. You tip to your right, she'll shoot left. Heel, stay down. I want you to scoot up just a little bit. Okay. So your weight is over your feet. Because you're like a building. Roof, middle, basement. Okay. Okay, sweetie. So walk. Walk. Now sit back right there. You sit back. Feel the contact with your bridle. That's alright. Now say trot. Big deep breath. Heels down. Look straight up at Holly. Straight on your rail. So tiny little bit of right leg. Good girl. I want you to switch your diagonal back. Good girl. Now push that right shoulder down. Get ready for your whoop walk. Sit back. Keep your heels down. Alright. Now whoop walk. Slow your body. Good. Let's turn to your left. Now, Kirsty, find me. Look at me. Look up. Shoulders back. Sit down. Heels down. Good. Step with her. Right now, she's on the left. She'll be changing by sitting one beat. And now she's on the correct, which would be the right diagonal. She's trying to gain the horse's confidence by gaining the rider's confidence. The more confident she will be, the more relaxed the pony could be. She's going to keep pulling. Do it again. Whoop, walk. Where's your body? Are you twisted? Square it up. Okay, one more time. Up and back, okay? Scooch up. Heels push down. Roll the shoulders open. Exhale. Whoo, doing great. Give her a little yes. Good girl. One more time up and back, right? There you go. Turn the toes in. Good girl. Okay. Look at Bella. I want you to try to keep her closer to that rail for me, okay? So you got to really push down on your right shoulder, right foot. That's going to block her body to the wall. So, big deep breath in, sit up tall, pick your rib cage up right out of your hips. Tell her trot. Beautiful. That was really good. Now keep that right shoulder down, push on your right foot. That's a girl. It's all right. Now straighten her head up with your right ring. Good girl, now whoa, walk. Go ahead and pick up your trot. This is one of our advanced riders. We'll be riding a road pony under saddle. Yeah, pick up the correct diagonal. There'll be three different speeds, a jog, a road gait, and its speed. Good, just You'll a want the pony more, to have his head and neck. He'll want to be tipped at the pole, which means the top of his head. So really, if you're thinking of looking at an old movie or something, you'll know the Trojan horses, their heads were back in their necks. Same idea. Good, let's do a nice we'll job with three different an aggressive speeds. Jog. Right now, she's at a jog. It is a trot, but it's a slower trot, what she's doing. You'll see three differences in speeds. This will be her, her slow speed. With, a, with any kind of saddle seat riding, you want to have your knee and thigh against that saddle. You want the weight down your heels. But the most biggest difference will be the height of your hands. You'll carry them a little higher. Good, give him a good kick. There you go, good. Kick him again. Good. Good, use that right leg. Make him stay up on that rail. You want their hips to follow their head. So if for some reason they're going down a straight line and you see the pony start to get crooked, you'll see the way the pony's getting crooked. They'll use their leg, they'll squeeze their leg, give them a little kick. Not a something that would hurt, just a little good. bit of Bring a nudge to tell to them to straighten up their body. Good, nice and steady in the bridle. Try not to slide it too much. Right now she's almost into more of a good. little bit of a road gate. Good, let him walk. 